Hello, hello. Oh, lady, you're so tired. I'm sorry. Is it cricket? Wait, hopefully really that works. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Mama Bert's. I am supposed to be outside grilling. However, it is quite cold and windy today. It's like only 35 degrees. So I was like, you know what? Let's bring it inside and we're going to grill on my Weber flat top here. But I do need to make some coffee. So let's do that. Is your phone about to die, husband? No. Oh, okay. I know, but that's, can I unplug it? No. Okay, I can't unplug it. Okay, you stay right there. Look at my cute watermelon cup Julie sent me. No, yes, but first coffee for sure. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's back it up. Don't mind my dirty dishes. I have not. Well, I did one load this morning. <laughs> Funny how you do a load and it just comes right back in, right? Hey, Pamela. I broke my son's bed this morning. Now I have to fix it. What'd you do? Are you flopping down on the bed? So I figured we'd make some chili cheese conies because I have these cheddar smoked sausages and that looks delicious. And then I have some coney rolls. But yeah, Kearney Rose. Just some canned chili, nothing fancy. Got some good old American cheese. And some jalapenos. I wish I had sour cream, but we just realized yesterday that I was out. What a shame. Good morning, or good evening, Angela. I'm glad you make it. Aunt Dinah, welcome. It's been quite a day, huh? Busy day for you. Yeah, I got my grill heating up. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll scoot you more this way. So you can see. I just can't read the floor. Hey, Erica? Linda? I thought I took the what sour cream was left in that jar in the fridge. I know, we ate it, Mom. Thank you, though. She's like, there was a little thing of sour cream in there four days ago. <laughs> see, it's gone. Uh, mom's, mom's in the background, so if you hear her chatting at me, that's who I'm talking to. Hello everyone, Jackie, hello, Michael, I love your channel, aw, wow, thank you, hi, you are amazing with recipes and money saving tips, thank you so much, Lee, I appreciate that, hello, Kayla, sour cream doesn't last long here, I know, I love sour cream, I think it was with those enchiladas, you saw how big of a scoop I <laughs> put on that some sour cream on there, hey, Sharon, welcome, welcome, we haven't started yet, Went for my grill to heat up, maybe I'll actually clean it decently this time and get all the the black off of it. How is mom and family? Mom's doing good. We are still waiting on if she needs um, any kind of heart surgery to get stents in. But overall, she's feeling a lot better. She's eating really well. Her sugar You're has... Sexy. She's feeling sexy, she said. She's feeling sexy today. That's why I said you should come say hi, mom. She's feeling extra sexy today. She says she hasn't felt this way in a while. Here I go. Oh, she's a coming. Here she goes. Here comes Nana. <laughs> Now remember, this is live Sweet. on the internet. We cannot take this off. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mama Sexy. Oopsie. Very nice, Mama. <laughs> mm -hmm. She already ate. I Thanks made her. For let me share. Yeah. I made her some tomato soup. So uh, she ate that. She don't get chili cheese conies. She's like, oh, we're making chili cheese conies. I was like, not for you, Nana. <laughs> Nana, should I hear that? Not for you, Not Nana. for you, Nana. <laughs> the only thing sour cream can't go on is in coffee. Yes. Maybe in a pinch if you're desperate, right? But Debbie, hello. Late to the party. Oh, hey, Pam. We're not too late. We're just still jibber-jabbing. Oh, everybody's like, sexy mama. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Tamara. Welcome. I uh, love how authentic you are in your channel. So relater relatable and inspiring. Well, thank you, Erica. <laughs> yeah, everyone says hi. Glad to see you. They're glad you're feeling well. I'm sorry the phone is auto-zooming, guys. I know that's annoying. I'm glad she's feeling better. 
there for watching your new videos. Thank you. <sighs> I just must have made him sick. Oh no, lady, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I had it in my grill. Oh, someone's not feeling good. Oh, failed. Made him feel sick. Did you say sides you're making? I have not said any sides. Um, we still have macaroni salad left in there. We have some coleslaw. Um, I could throw some tater tots in the air fryer. Ooh, chili cheese tater tots. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. What do you think, husband? That would be good. Everybody's like, yeah. Sounds like a party night. That. You're, not for you, Nana. Oh, it is a Friday night. Yeah, I said farting night. Oh, she said farting. I thought she said Friday. My mother is so classy, if you haven't seen by now. <laughs> I don't know where I get mine from. <laughs> oh, this one said chili dogs are literally her favorite food. <coughs> Hawkins Hills, what kind of sides? I'm definitely, I wish I had onion rings. If I had more ambition at the moment, I could probably make my own onion rings, but I do not. <laughs> Hey, Missy. Ooh, chili dog pizza at home. That sounds really? pretty good. So is that just like, so I'm gonna guess how to, how, to, how to make that. You would do the crust and then you'd put chili and then you would put probably sliced hot dogs on it and then you'd put the cheese and then you bake it. Is that it? And then when it comes out, ooh, you'd probably put like onions and jalapenos on that too. And then when it comes out, you do the sour cream drizzle. Oh. See, all you gotta do is say one thing, and my mind's like, "Ooh, how can I make that?" <laughs> that does sound really good, though. I need to try that. Ooh, they had just juicy Lucy burgers and chips. So I loved your TV videos. Ordering a bunch from there after it's good stuff. It really is pretty good stuff. I'm like, some stuff is like, ah, you can tell that's kind of cheap, but other stuff's like, man, this is really good. Like that scraper I got, that was really handy. Mother, they can hear all belching, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I don't think there's ever an age where your parents don't embarrass their kids, you know? <laughs> but this means I need more coffee. Man, sorry. Man, soda. It's a good thing you're cute, Nana. Uh, you're doing me. buttered pasta and homemade breadsticks. Erica, that sounds good. I need to do breads more. I keep saying that. I had the week off. I made over 100 jams and jellies to sell. Good job, Sharon. I was thinking I need to sell some this year. Hopefully in spring we'll get some dandelions and I can do some dandelion jelly. We had pizza for dinner and he's at 113. Oh, that is really good. That's not bad at all. Mom's sugar has really leveled out. Like she's not even having to take many shots during the day after she eats. Her long acting, long, slow releasing insulin has been working really well for her. Oh, hey, Veronica. Got to your last few minutes. Bye, first time for everything. Hey, Tammy, yeah. Oh, this one's giving me super easy onion rings, or best ever. Milk, cornstarch, self-rising flour, onion powder, roasted garlic powder, and cayenne pepper. It does sound pretty good. Make your crust. No bean chili for sauce. Cut up hot dogs. Six mix mozzarella, chili cheese, bacon, top of white. Ooh, that sounds good. I'll have to try that. All right, I'm sitting here talking too much. Made sweet and sour chicken, Angela. Oh, that sounds so good. Thanks for giving me the confidence to do that. You're welcome. And it was super easy, wasn't it? And better than anything that you could taste before. Oops, Hormel, no bean chili. Okay. Hey, Bridget. Nice to see you here. My dad tries to embarrass me every day. I'm telling you, Debbie, like it never, never stops. Oh, I see my lights over there. Kind of loud. Oh, my girl's smoking now. Turn off my influencer light. I hope you guys don't mind we're just sitting here chatting. I haven't cooked yet. Husband's not nagging at me, so. Hello from Alabama. Hello, beautiful queen. <laughs> What's the above ingredients? Well, except for the onion batter rings and place them in hot oil. Oil should be a medium to medium low temperature so rings get going brown. I'm going to try that. I love onion rings so bad. Oh. I used to make them when I worked at Sonic. Oh, you made them at, from Sonic? Do you remember the ba pro batter probably came in already? You just added water or something? Yeah. Or was it a dry batter? It was a dry batter. Dry, <coughs> dry batter. I like beer battered onion rings. Those are really good. Assembly wasn't better than store-bought sauce. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mama Baird, who's cooking? <laughs>
Oh, she's like, what's cooking? I thought she said, who's cooking? I was like, me, I'm always the one who cooks. Ain't nobody ever cook for me anymore. Um, I'm going to make chili cheese conies, though. It's Lynette. It's going to be super good. I tell you, that Team U knife sharpener is like a dollar. Yeah, I don't know if I like that sharpener. Like, I keep trying to use it, and I'm just, I'm just not a fan. I don't think I like it. I feel like it tears up my knives, but... It is really cheap, yes. I saw, oh, I saw it today. I was looking out there. They have a nose stud piercer for like 97 cents. I'm like, ah, oh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> Ooh, okay. She's listing jam. She made caramel apple pie jam, apple jelly, mandarin orange jam, wow. lemon drop jelly, and mango jam. Girl, mango jam, that all sounds good. Lemon drop jelly? Wow. You better be emailing me some recipes because oh. that all sounds delicious. The only thing I have, I haven't made mandarin, orange jelly, lemon drop jelly, or mango jelly. That all sounds delicious. I like her cup. Thanks, T. Hmm. Now can we place our orders? I'm telling you, for them onion rings. Fried potatoes topped with cheese and bacon because you got it. What do you mean I got bacon? <laughs> <laughs> Mom laughs. Oh, wait till you see the next food bank haul, guys. I'm going to be working on that either to, tonight or tomorrow morning. Yeah. Free hint, there's a grinder right there from Vetter. This person's like, no bacon at her house at all. All right, we're getting hot. I also don't have a vent. I know you guys are like, put this, I put the grill officially on my stove instead of over there in my corner where I normally film. I put it here, but this house does not have a vent, which is super weird. So that's why it's usually smoky in here. I'm going to open the window. Ugh. Orange, you glad you don't got to deal with the smoke? <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah. Look at my rescue plant, too. She's so happy. All kinds of new sprouts, new leaves going. Just smack myself in the face with it. This one is the philodendron. 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 Thanks, husband. See, this is why I need husband here when I talk. <laughs> I know you guys probably just want to see me cooking, but look at this one. This is so cool, guys. Look, this one's got a new leaf coming. Right there, you see it? Oh, yeah. It got really big, though. You like my little ornament there for it. Yeah, I'm just super happy. Oh, here's another little leaf coming in right there. He's just so proud. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to try the whole regrow your celery trick from celery. And I'll be darned. Look, it's growing. I need to fill it up with some water. done showing off all my goodies let's get some stuff on this grill let's toast some buns I like my buns toasty I need a grill like that most are in the ball books you're on set and day sites okay Sharon I'll check out those yay live hey Jennifer this is the Vevers grill I have a review on it um and I have a link there where you can get 5% off if you use my code, you know. <laughs> Go into influencer mode. <laughs> I hope you guys find that funny and not offensive that I do that. I think it's funny that I pretend to be an influencer, you know, but I could just be offending people. Who knows? <laughs> Those look really nice. I know. I'm super proud of my plants. I can't believe that they're almost dead. I got a five gallon bucket of blackstrap molasses from our local pantry. I'm putting it in jars right now and watching you. Oh, five gallon bucket of blackstrap molasses, girl. I'm jealous. I'd be making cookies. I love molasses cookies. Those are probably my favorite cookies, molasses cookies. Um, is your, where's your mom? Is she going to have one, husband? I know she had soup. You just think she wants corn dog, corn dog, chili dog. Okay. Are you just going to want one? Yeah. Yeah. See, my husband does not eat a lot. Everybody's like, oh my, what's in husband's lunch? You need to feed him. I feed the man. I get offended if he doesn't eat all my stuff. Mm -hmm. Hi from Grammy. Grandma. Is that Grammy? Grammy? 
Thank you, Grammy. Susan, hello. Try green onions too. I do need to try green onions. You do that. I need to do that. Grow my celery. Yeah, I don't mean. I, I'm interested to see how um, how big it'll grow. You know. Or look at your fit, history video and find it. Yes, Veronica, it's really it's really nice. Molasses cookies are life. Who cares if they don't like what you do? <laughs> They really, they don't need, if they don't, they need to get a life. Right, and I just, I like having fun. Oh, you're going to bed, Dinah. Good night. Yes, you better finish watching this in the morning. All right. All right. Enough jibber-jabber. Mm. All right. What's that? Where's my stuff? Losing my mind, husband. It's because of your children, you know. So I'm going to use bacon grease to coat this. Oh, I bet bacon would be good on this chili. That's some bacon. See, look, I'm just like, oh yeah, I can put bacon. I can literally put bacon in every single dish for the rest of the year. All right, one. I guess me and husband are the only ones eating. I fed the rest of the family tomato soup I made for mom. I used those roasted tomatoes I got from a can the other time, the big blast food thing. That was really good. It turned out really good. Mom was over here eating from the pot. <laughs> I was not. I mean, she's classy lady. She would never, never. <laughs> right. The only thing you can't put bacon grease is in coffee. I mean, I, my brother would def, would disagree. <laughs> I could totally see Paul putting um, bacon grease in his coffee. They're like a fat bomb coffee, you know. Hey, Ruby. Gross. That sounds gross. He needs to feed you for a change. I'd agree, Tammy. He didn't even see my wife look. Husband. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm doing carrot cake jam, festival pepper jam, and cowboy candy. Girl, Ooh. you do you make a lot of sales? Like, how much is, is it for? Like, um, farmers markets? Is that where you're selling, or you do it online? Like, I'm interested in how to sell jams and jellies. Husband was trying to get me to sell them last year, and I was like, I don't know. What am I? Oh yeah, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you give me coffee emojis to remind me I need to drink my coffee. Hello, Lily. Welcome. Oh, and blackberry. Wow. Have you ever made maple bacon cupcakes? That does sound pretty good. I did make bacon pancakes the other morning. That was really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have a plate. So it needs a little more. I guess I'm just cooking two of these. I could probably cook another couple extra, get some sear on there. I'm definitely only going to need one can of chili. You need to try chocolate covered bacon. I do need to try that. You're right. Especially with the pepper bacon, I bet that would be good. I'm waiting for your package to come. Is that from Timu, Kathy? Bacon jam is also amazing. Yes, I need to try bacon jam too. Now, I don't think you can can that, right? That's just going to be a... I do. Um... That's a refrigerator one. Homemade bacon mayo is amazing. <laughs> Sub bacon grease for oil. Tammy. Baby. Bacon mayonnaise. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I have a lot of bacon grease. Like, look at, I have like so many of these. Plus there's the two jars right there. That's bacon grease too. Mm. And I have some in my freezer. So I'm not wasting that. It's worth the freezer space. All right, let's put some of these on here. You think I could put the chili on the grill? I don't see why not. It might make it a little messy. Smells like chili. Let's see. My kids have been watching Turning Red lately. Have you guys seen that? It's stuck in my head. Gotta be on my mind, my mind. 
Sorry, I hate it when kid movie songs get stuck in your head. Husband, will you go throw this in Chef Mike for me? Should we just do the whole can, half can? Probably half a can. No, uh, can in the no can. Uh, two minutes, please. Do not can the can. Do not microwave the can. That's how you don't get a microwave. <laughs> All right, make sure you like this. I only have 40 likes. What's wrong with you guys? Don't you like me? I was on spring break and I would rather make jam than spring cleaning. Girl, ain't that the truth? This is what you need to try to do. I order an order from Timu. Can't wait. Awesome. What'd you get, Kathy? It's pretty exciting. I like dark chocolate covered bacon. Mmm, I love dark chocolate. Hi, Liz. Caramelized bacon and onion spread for burgers. That sounds good. I sell at work and online to friends. Okay, work's a good idea. Why not try chicken fried bacon? It's been a running joke in my family for decades. Chicken fried bacon? Is that where you bread bacon and then fry it like you would a chicken fried steak? Interesting. Carolina, hey John. I want to tell you hi and never tell you hi. I need to say hi to my cat. Husband, will you grab the baby? You can show him the baby and you can come say hi. Okay. He will in a minute, huh? No, a different baby. Yeah, you can come say hi, husband, so they know you're real. Not just an imaginary husband who I just call husband, the man with no name. <laughs> and then we we hatched some of our own chicks. First of all, this husband. Hello. We got one of our babies here. <laughs> yeah, we got seven. They pretty much all look the same, but of course the kids all know the difference. Which one's that? I don't well, know. I have no clue. It's either Cookie or no Cookie has no feathers. Fluffy. Baby. They're so cute, and they all look like that black with yellow, and we have kind of like a mixed mixed flock. I definitely think that's one of our big, our rooster Johnny seems to be the father of most of them because he's a big black rooster. And then we have Steamy, no, Smokey is our one who you hear in the videos all the time. He's our olive acre rooster. He's got a loud one. And then Steamy's a second olive acre rooster that's behind him. So, whew. Oh, hey, Sandra. Do you have a dehydrator? I do have a dehydrator tea. Farmer's Market, a good place to sell home canned jams and jellies. Yep, I was thinking like the freeze-dried candy too, if I start doing that. Such clean bacon grease. Thank you. Like I said, I strain it. That smells so good. It reminds me of the Sonic grill. This like reminds me of Sonic? <laughs> Just the, the heat smell? Or the, like the grill, yeah, like the yeah. bread, I guess. Smell. He worked, well, that was the only food place you ever worked at, right, with yeah. Sonic, when he was a teenager? And the grill. And you had the grill, yeah. So you do know how to cook. Yeah. Thank you. It's just my thing. Yeah. I've only been given bacon jam and haven't made it myself, so I don't know how you can store it or whether it needs to be live in the fridge. Okay, I'll look into that. I love your channel. Oh, thank you, Melissa. You are real. I am real. I am. Unfortunately, I wish I was fake and fancy. No, I don't. <laughs> Sounds like a sad life, right? Anything bacon and bacon mayo is great. All right, I'm trying bacon mayo. We need to have a bacon video, right? all my bacon recipes and I can do like bacon jam, bacon mayo, other bacon stuff. Oh, the, the dark chocolate covered bacon would be good. So it'd just be like unique bacon recipes. I have all these ideas for videos, guys, but I never have time. It takes me forever. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh my gosh. Some of the cheese is slowly starting to seep out of the dog. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That looks good. Husband, you gotta check the chili. He sat back down. Mistake. I want to try your corn broth. Oh, Melissa, I just used my corn broth today when I was making mom's tomato soup. It is delicious. You really give it a try. It is my favorite. I told mom about it. I just described how I made it, and she was like, ooh. She's not really a from scratch cook. Mom is more of a open cans and mix stuff up and make a meal. You did make homemade mac and cheese. Thanks, husband. Where's the spoon? Oh, into the can. I 
Why phone didn't phone you microwave phone. this boom? <laughs> Thanks, husband. This is good. This has got beans in it. Are you pro beans or anti beans in chili? Yep, that's chili. We could probably make it spicy since it's just you and me. Pagano. Or do you want jalapeno on yours? So, husband just tried ghost chili salsa at work today. And his, I'm sorry, ghost pepper. And here I have some smoked ghost chilies that I was just thinking about adding to the chili. And he's like, no. Doesn't get much hotter. Like, this thing is actually, it's in a bag. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm terrified. I mean, I like spicy, but I don't like the burn your mouth spicy. So I have not tried this yet. All right, I need a plate. I need a plate. Oh, there's no clay in mine. I need sponsored is a salamander or grill where you can put stuff in and it'll boil it and I'll melt it on top. Don't quite fit. I need one and a half. Cold. You're cold, Anna. <laughs> oh, look who wants to come say hi. She heard the cheese open. Thank you. Yeah. This is Yoda. This is my cat. She is glued to me. Oh, okay, I'm cooking though. She's like, I know, I want the cheese. Right, the hair off there. Does anybody else cat loves cheese? Like, and that's why she comes running because I give her some, right? <laughs> Just give in to the the cries. Oh, husband. Yeah. You're gonna want to marry me after this. Oh yeah. Nope, it's gonna happen. I bet Timu has a ring. All right, cheese, can you guys see this? No, let me pull you down. There we go, okay. So, oh. Dropped it on my floor, it's still in the package. Don't mind my dirty floors. You know, my kitchen fairy has not showed up to work lately. I don't know where she went. I feel like I need to possibly microwave it. Hi. I feel like I need to possibly microwave it just to get it melty. Because I don't have any other melty thing. Oh, I guess I could turn on my broiler. Okay. Well, that's working. Let me ask some, answer some questions. I don't know if you guys even ask them questions. Uh, Glad your life just had a sugar drop something to entertain me while I'm down some sweet coffee, which is important. Yes. Boxes, I buy boxes of bacon ends and pieces and render it down slowly like what you did to that lard and then filter it and toss it into the fridge. That sounds really good. That's what I do. I tried to render it down as well. I grew gorgeous tomatoes and used bacon mayo for a mater sandwich. Oh my gosh, Tammy. That does sound delicious. You could sell your canned stuff online to us. I could. I was thinking about that. I could have an Etsy. I'm thinking about starting up an Etsy. Husband, I want you to help me start up an Etsy. But then I have to actually make the stuff and then package the stuff and then mail the stuff. Oh, 
Why do you guys love me so much? Love your watermelon mug. Thank you. The subscriber sent it to me. You guys are so good to me. She sent all that kind of like, cute watermelon stuff over there too. It was a big package of watermelon stuff. I'm like, ah! <laughs> so exciting. Bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches are the best. They are. I made those on. Have you made those on an everything bagel before? Such a cute chick. It was a cute chicky chicky. Oh, hello, Mesla from State of New York. First time seeing Hubby? Yeah, he's around occasionally. I usually film with these oh, okay. if we're sleeping or at work, you know. You need to get a freeze dryer, I'm telling you. The one my aunt gave me is a small, and poor girl has been running pretty much since I got her set up. There's so many things I want to freeze dry. Like, I want to get the vegetables out of my freezer, like the peas and the corn. I have a big bag of avocado cubes in there. I'm like, ooh, I should freeze dry that. But then I have other stuff that's going bad that I'm freeze drying first, or candy, you know. That's um, first. Must freeze dry candy first, you know. Oh, hi, uh, Jalen, is that right? From Pennsylvania, hello. Oh, here, she just says we can have bacon-wrapped bacon. -wrapped bacon. <laughs> Oh, I should learn how to make a bacon rose. That would be cute, too. Oh, everybody's for the bacon video. I'm going to send your husband yeah, a gift. This gift is my husband. The gift is my husband so he can teach him how to be cheerful and helpful. <laughs> oh, he got off work. He's happy. He's grumbly, though. He does it, though. I live in Amish country and get really good bacon and chocolate in bulk. Oh, I would love chocolate in bulk. What is your favorite way to have watermelon? I eat it right out of the, <laughs> slice it in half, eat a whole half. Uh, um, I do want to experiment more with it, like maybe grilled watermelon is good or watermelon salad supposed to be good, but honestly I just, like, some people put salt on their watermelon. I don't think I've had that. I feel lucky my husband and I take turns cooking. That is really lucky. You know, and if I, I don't know. He doesn't really cook much for me, but he will, like, make me, like, a bowl of cereal or he'll heat up something for me easy, you know. A lot of it's just this is my kitchen, you know. He doesn't know really know where the stuff is. I turned this off, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Let me assemble this other one, and then I'll throw them in at the same time. You miss me, honey? Do I miss you? No. Oh. She's not talking to me. Husband, I put all the chili on yours. That's up. I should have opened the whole can. I would like one. Too bad, Nana. Made you soup. I'm so mean to my mom. It's like, Mom, look at this cake. Doesn't it look delicious? Not for you. <laughs> oh, my ears are dirty. Not my precious kids. Can you put a plate under the broiler? I don't know. Okay, we'll try it. If it breaks, you're cleaning my oven. It's not going to clean my oven. All right. Don't mind the children screaming. I don't. Our food banks, you can only go once a month. You are lucky. I'm very lucky. Very fortunate. Like, you can come every day. They say to, if you can only make it there, like, once a month, they say take extra than the limits because they know that you can only make it there once a while. They're like, take what you need, you know, and it is very... It is very fortunate, and I'm just blown away by them, and I wish all food things were like mine. Shelby, you're going tomorrow. That's awesome. I went today. I have not filmed the haul for today. The one that I have coming that I need to edit was last week, so I'm trying to get like a week ahead of them so I can get one filmed and then have that ready without the pressure, under pressure of filming right when I get home with my food bank stuff, because usually, you know, as soon as you get home, mama, mama, mama. Like, I haven't even taken my boots off from taking the kids to the park yet. <sighs> Don't do it. It's no, it's not how spicy ghost peppers are. The problem is they're just, they're also taste nasty. Yeah. He said that, he described the spice as like a sharp pain on his tongue. Like, it hurt. Uh, oh yeah, good job, John. He's been smoke free for three days. It's hard quitting. I mean, I've never had to do it, but I've seen the struggle. Mom's had to quit smoking several times. 
The cheese tax, yeah. Oh, good night, Veronica. How is it cats can determine the sound of a cheese bag from any other bag? I don't know. I guess it's the the wrapper. I don't know. I'm surprised she didn't show up. <laughs> don't see them all day till you got <laughs> cheese. Yoda is a big fluffy cat. Oh, my mom would be BFF with you. I know for sure now you have a cat, her favorite. I have three cats. <laughs> oh, let me check my food. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. Everything is under control. My cat loves cheese as she hears her refrigerator door open. She's all over it. They're so funny. I love this thing so much. Trey. Hawkins, I saw that comment. I love him so much. <laughs> It, it'll, it'll cover up yeah, he definitely, he definitely, uh, handles dessert, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Gotta get, got into wife mode there for a moment, you know. Mm. Your cat adores ham. That's funny. How long do you hold on to your bacon grease? Well, I usually keep it in the fridge. Like, these are gonna go in the fridge or the freezer. I actually keep it in the freezer. I have a door freezer because I have a garage fridge and it has a... You know, just a regular door freezer. And in door is just jars of bacon grease. So I will probably have bacon grease longer than I'll have bacon. Now, unless I could make bacon mayo, because that sounds good. That's a great way to use it up. Not too shabby. I mean, not quite Sonic chili cheese conies, you know. Husband, you probably don't want jalapenos then. If your tummy's floopy floppy. Do you guys see the jalapeno cupcakes I made? I used pickled jalapenos and pepper jelly. It's in my pepper jelly video. It's really good. The kids even ate them. Like it wasn't, it sounds like it'd be spicy, but it's really not that spicy. Oh, husband, I didn't make any sides. Well, we can get the macaroni salad. It's really fine. Where's your You're really fine. It's out in the garage fridge. Did you try that, that looks pretty good, guys. I might let it sit for a moment, though. Okay. I'm out of plate, so husband's getting a kid plate. Um, make sure you like this video if you're new here. Your kitty is ador adorable. Thank you. She is adorable. She's like 11, almost 12 now. Yay, live. Yay, I'm rowdy. Nice to see you. If not frozen, um, I don't know. Bacon grease doesn't really go bad. Like, I guess it can get rancid. But especially if you keep it in the fridge, like... They've had it. Some people just keep baking grease out on their stove and they fill it up and they use it and they fill it up and they use it. So, some don't even do that. So, kind of a preference, I guess. Get a silicone ice cold mold, pour your molds, freeze, and pop out. Yes, that's a good way to, um, to pour your bacon grease. Bacon grease. A tub of lard. Yeah. Yeah, pour your bacon grease into ice cube molds and then once they freeze pop them out and then put them in a ziploc bag and then you just grab a tablespoon at a time coffee yep hey April clay have missed watching I'm glad you found my life too welcome back I cooked well you probably saw that I'm probably behind on the comments yeah I'm just seven minutes behind salt just brings out the sweetness of watermelon okay I'll have to try it with salt and I mixed crushed garlic. I need a chair now, I'm standing. 
I sit on a bucket. One of you was talking about a five gallon of molasses. I got a five gallon of honey, but we bought that for like 200 bucks when we first got here. Local honey, woo, handles of hello. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got my window open, I can feel a breeze now. Kicking my tripod, okay. Hi, welcome back. And I mixed crushed garlic and some of the bacon fat so it's pre-seasoned. Girl, you should have your channel. <laughs> My husband loves watermelon pickles. Is that like using watermelon rind or do you actually use the, oh, hey, Sarah, I didn't really see you. Or do you like using um, actual watermelon for that? Yeah. Instead of calling them Carolina's hubby, what do we call them? Hubby? <laughs> I mean, if you used to just say husband, we will know who you're talking about. I've never had yellow watermelon. That sounds good though. Um, one of my friends had pink pineapple. I thought that was interesting. I live in Iowa, an area that was known for watermelon growing for years. Okay, so you know your watermelon. What's been your favorite thing to freeze dry? Well, I haven't done too much. Um, I did try freeze drying cuties. I did not like that. They seemed pretty, like, I'm telling you what I didn't like. They seemed um, powdery, or like, it's supposed to be powdery. This seemed like... Um... I don't know what it is. It's something that you add to mandarin oranges and it takes away the rind of them. So that would probably be better to freeze dry those. But I did freeze dry some taffy and that was really good. Um, freeze dried green beans. I did taco seasoning. That one was good. I did a couple of other seasonings and they were not as good. You guys want to see me eat? Is that weird to watch someone eat all the time? I'll take a bite. Mmm. Use my apron. I'm not going to eat that whole thing in front of you, though. So, yeah, the green beans were pretty good. The taffy was good. I freeze-dried some eggs. I need to try that. I'm going to freeze-dry the soup for mom, tomato soup. And then I'm going to make tomato soup, too, to can as well. I still want to do canning. Like, I still want to have... Let me finish my mouth full. No. I still want to have multiple options of food storage. You know, I don't want everything in my food storage to be freeze dried. I don't want everything to be canning. I don't want everything to be frozen. You know, you want a variety. You want some stuff pickled. You want some stuff fermented would be nice to start getting into fermenting. Um, that's kind of like a science. I've done sauerkraut, and it's okay. I still have sauerkraut for a while. I realize I don't really reach for sauerkraut when it comes to meals. Like, I bet sauerkraut would have been good on this. Yeah. But I don't like think of it or reach for it much, you know. But yeah, so I am going to try and freeze dry multiple stuff, but still do canning as well. Oh, hey, Susie B. Welcome. Coney dogs are one of my favorites from Sonic. I know, AZ, they're so good, and now I'm craving one. Like, this definitely needs some homemade onion rings with it, that's for sure. Oh, it's lightning there, John. I love snowstorm. Or not snow, uh, rain, lightning, thunderstorms so much. I miss them here. Oh, Angela, your mom has five cats. They just kind of accumulate, don't they? I don't know what happens. <laughs> oh, hello, find my soul garden. How are you? The white part of the watermelon tastes just like cucumber. I had a black cat named Curly, and she was that way about candy. Who likes candy? Interesting. Uh, I'm probably going to leave pretty soon so I can eat this, guys. It was really good. That was a good bite. I didn't get any of the jalapenos. Wish I had sour cream. Oh, hi, Olivia. I'm going to need a bib with that chili dog. You're right. That's why I'm like, I don't know if I want to eat all in front of you. Hey, Melissa. Oh, Angela, you're right. I, always, I just need to keep this permanently in my hand. <laughs> hey, Mama Bear. Glad I caught your live. Love your channel, and especially you. It's such a delight to watch one from you. Thank you, Candy. I appreciate that. Hey, Cheryl. Welcome. Teresa, enjoy your channel. Thank you. I have a lot of fun with my channel. I'm glad you guys like it, too. Like it's, it's, it definitely boosts my creativity. It makes me, hmm, how can I do this, you know? And, I don't know, it's good to have, to have, I don't know, people to 
do stuff for, you know, like I usually just do this for me. So it's nice having other people to be able to talk to about the things that I cook or can or the food bank, you know, because a lot of people, you don't really have those conversations person to person because the food bank is an issue that a lot of people don't talk about and is nothing to be i'm usually the one who brings it up now i'll be like oh do you go to the food bank and you can tell some people are like uh, but since i'm open and talk about it i feel like that helps other people be open to talk about things you know oh hey alicia is that right alicia's corner alicia maybe freeze dry watermelon and cantaloupe they are so good Ooh, i did get some mango from the food bank today i haven't filmed my haul yet but I was thinking about freeze drying the mango. That'd be good. Because I did freeze mango and used it in smoothies and it was really good. But I'm sure I could still use freeze dried mango in smoothies. I don't see why not. Your channel's about food, not weird to eat on it. Good, because I usually always take my big old bites. <laughs> One person's like, I'm glad you're not afraid to take, uh, you don't take small bites. I'm like, no, I do not take small bites. <laughs> yeah, you guys see that corn dog, that chili dog? Mmm, that's pretty good. In the mirror. In the Rhine, prepping for a snowstorm. So we're ready for spring. Oh, Sarah, me too. I started clearing a spot for our table for our stars. We really should have started them already. Mama, do you have for your mason jars? I do. It is buried somewhere in the kitchen. But I do have that with the, the cord, right, to vacuum seal the mason jars. I need to find it so I can vacuum seal some of the stuff I freeze dried already. And then I don't have a Marlar, Marlar, Marlar bag sealer, but a lot of people have told me to either use a flat iron or a straight iron, which I actually happen to have straight iron. That's the only thing. If I ever do anything to my hair, I straighten it, and I haven't done that in a long time. can't remember the last time I straightened my hair. Hawkins Hill says I'm fermenting right now. Batch of, kum of kombucha mm, will be done tomorrow. The starting water and starting water kefir your mom may benefit from, from drinking both if i can get her to drink it she's not much of um that fermented taste kind of thing um i've tried milk kefir but i haven't done water kefir but i've been interested about it um so yeah that's a good idea kombucha i did try that for a little bit and i just it always ended up being too too sour you know like too fermented so it's probably just me doing it wrong um, but I love kombucha in the store, so I definitely want to try it. Yeah, thank you, Candy. Remind everybody to hit that thumbs up. Uh, your hot dog looks better than Pink's in LA. Thank you. It wasn't that hard either. That Vever Grill really makes a difference. I love that thing. I just whip it out. Did I turn? Okay, the lights on. So it's because I didn't unplug it. Oh, it cost me like, do I have everything off? Is there something going? <laughs> You're always worried. Uh, fortunately, most people around here are not open to go to the food banks. That's unfortunate. It really is. I work for the Food Bank of California. And how is your experience with yours, Olivia? Do you feel like you guys have a lot of food? Do you run out of food? Do you throw food away? Like, I love hearing about the experiences of other food banks. Some people are like, you know, you're taking from other people because their food bank is always running out of food. So they would feel like they were taken from less fortunate people because, you know, they ran out before the line ended. But ours, it doesn't run out before the line ends. They're constantly restocking it all day long with different stuff. Like you could go through the line and go shopping. And then by the time you're checked out, they're out with a cart refilling the stuff that you just took from. Don't mind the mom in the background. <coughs> We like it because you're real. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Ours sometimes gives us dog food. Yes, ours has dog food, cat food sometimes. Um, they do pads, tampons. They have different size diapers, and they have depends. Like, they are really, they set up. Like, luckily my kids aren't in diapers anymore. But that would be very, I could see that being very beneficial for a mom who had a lot of kids to be able to pick up a pack of diapers, you know? I would be concerned if you didn't try your own creations. That's true. That's why I hate people. Okay, here it is. Thanks. Bye. I'm like, ah, oh, let me get out of this. You know, <laughs> I'm a foodie. That's for sure. Uh, watch Jamel shoot. She just canned 280 pounds of tomatoes. Jeez. Oh, hey, Fran. Best way to save freeze dry food: toss an auction and they seal with your food saver. Okay, and I do have a lot of jars. So you do that instead of Marlar bags, or do you do both? 
You can use a regular iron to seal bags. Just have to keep the temp low as not to burn the bag. Okay, thank you, Pam. Have you ever made Tennessee chow chow? I've made pickled chow chow. Is that different than Tennessee chow chow? I don't know. Is that, because the pickled chow chow I made just had like cabbage, um, cucumbers, pretty much anything left over in the garden, cauliflower, and then you pickle it. And it was really good. I like um, chow chow on like breaded items, like breaded pork chops or stuff like that. Oh, thank you, Angela. And he kind of let me go. I know that chili dog's calling me. Saying, husband, how's your chili dog? It's gone. <laughs> Is that, was that enough? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Husband's is gone. Okay, give me a rating. What's my rating from Mr. Sonic Pro over here? 8 out of 10. What was wrong with it? The cheese that got me points taken off. It's not the appropriate cheese. Well, what kind of cheese? Nacho cheese? Or cheddar cheese? Nacho cheese would have been good. Kicking my tripod. All right, guys, I definitely got to eat this food. It looks so good. I'm glad you guys don't care that I did end up grilling. I was like, oh, it's a little windy and cold for mom, even for Montana. Mm. I tried to drop your channel in one of my recipe groups because they were really confused about the food bank. And oh my gosh, the backlash I got. It was pretty sad to see. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, AZ. AZ, I'm sorry if I call you AZJ. I don't understand people's like backlash towards the food bank. It's just... I don't know. I don't understand that. Like, why do people care what other people are getting food that would have gone thrown away, you know? Oh, hey, Miss Chocolate. Gotta stay hydrated. You're right, Angela. Cindy says, love your videos, Mama Baird. You show how anyone can cook simple meals, but oh no, did we miss you washing your hands after loving on the chicken kitty as retired chef is one of my pet peeves. Um, yeah, I don't think I washed my hands. But I think the food was assembled. Was it assembled? I don't know. I didn't wash my hands after I held Yoda. Are I, you still talking? Yes, mother. Are you still talking? I did brush all the hair off my apron, if that makes you feel a little better. But you're right, I probably should have washed my hands. If you don't eat that dog, I'll eat it. I know it's so tempting, isn't it? <laughs> we have a lot of food you can't go every day. When you can only go once a month, you can get an emergency second food box later in the month. Oh, that's good. Thursday, we have a drive through We serve 575 households. That's a lot. I'm a nurse and our health organization sets up food closets and clinics in the hospital where us nurses stock them so mamas can take what they need. That's awesome. I like you give true food tasting if it's some, if they need something you say. Yeah, I try and do that because especially if you guys are going to recreate it, I want to make sure it's good for you too. You know, I'm not one of those to uh, leave out the secret ingredient when you give a recipe, you know. You gotta, yes, you gotta fix the kiddo's bed. Oh, yeah, mine are in the bath right now. Have a nice night, you too, find my soul. It's the stigma, it is, lady. And it's so hard to fight that, you know? It has green tomatoes, cabbage, bell peppers, onion spices, and apple cider vinegar. Yes, that's it, Tammy, it does sound good. Are you still talking too funny? I know, Jerry, my mom, right? Feel the love. I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna go weekly, I only need one, I'm gonna, I quit going weekly. I only need one to two times right now. Well, that's good. And that's the thing. Like, that's one thing about food bank. I feel like people go when they feel like they need food. Like, if you don't feel like you need food, you're not going to go. So I don't feel like people take advantage of it. I mean, maybe some in a blue moon do, but most people, they feel like they need food, you know? Good thing your family doesn't care if you hold your cat and you don't have to feed anyone else. Yeah. Your cat, your food isn't hurting a soul. Go eat your dog and love your babies. I will, I will. We just hatched 25 chicks in the incubator. Ours, we just got seven and we have another round going. How much longer will your mom be staying with you? Uh, well, we're looking at getting her surgery for her stents. Um, we're calling about that Monday to kind of, we had to switch facilities because one doesn't cover, use cover with her insurance because she's out of state. So it's kind of fishy so they're going to be looking to see, make sure that the insurance will cover the surgery at this other place so we'll find out monday if she's not going to have the surgery then she's going to go home if she can have the surgery here then she's going to have it here and i'm going to help her recuperate and then she's going to go back home so go eat that doll girl it's looking very <laughs> seducing have a fantastic night with your family thanks guys for coming and visiting with me give this video a like for me i am going to go eat this this looks delicious and i'll catch you next time on mama bears Okay, Mom, I quit talking. Gosh, she's so mean to me. <laughs>